Mwah! Greetings. This is Charles Darwin, and I just gave you a kiss. What was that, Emma? No, no, it was not a romantic kiss. No, this was just a kiss of friendship to all of my friends out there. Okay, well, I'm here to talk to you a little bit about kisses and such things as that. And it begins with the story of young mammals. Mammals are very neotenous, that is, they preserve many characteristics of their juvenile period into adulthood. Now, young mammals have to suckle. They live off of milk when they're very young, and they have to have very intricate musculature around their mouths to be able to suck. Natural selection favored mammals that, when they were young, and therefore also when they were older, had very fine control of those muscles. Now, what happened is that when mammals grew up, especially humans, retaining those juvenile characteristics into adulthood, characteristics such as the large eyes, the flat face, the large head. These are all characteristics of juvenile primates, juvenile apes, and yet humans keep them into adulthood. And this is part of the reason why we have such big heads, big brains. But there's also another side of neoteny, that is, the fact that humans preserve juvenile characteristics into adulthood. And that is that the fact that we suckle when young means that we have very intricate control of our tongue and our muscles around the lips. And this is part of the things that made language possible for us. And language is both the product and the cause of the explosion of the evolution of human intelligence. Isn't that a wonderful thing to think that possibly all of human intelligence, as well as the neotenous characteristics of love friendship, all came about as a result, possibly, of natural selection favoring young mammals being able to make use of this new food source, this wonderful food source known as milk. Could milk be the explanation for so many things? This is Charles Darwin, Tally Ho, and I'm in.